Have you ever pondered how all living things, from the tallest trees to the tiniest microorganisms, function? What if I told you that the secret lies in something so small, it's invisible to the naked eye? That's right, we're talking about cells, the building blocks of life. Cells are the fundamental units of life, the smallest structures capable of performing all the functions necessary for life. Everything from a tiny bacteria to a massive blue whale is made up of cells, each one a tiny self-contained unit of life. Unit of... Imagine a bustling city filled with workers, buildings, and infrastructure. That's essentially what a cell is. A microscopic city where everything has a specific role to play. There are power plants, factories, delivery systems, waste management facilities, and even a city hall where all the important decisions are made. The power plants of the cell are the mitochondria. These tiny organelles generate energy for the cell, much like a power plant generates electricity for a city. They take in nutrients, break them down, and transform them into energy that the cell can use. The factories of the cell are the ribosomes. These small structures take instructions from the cell's DNA and use them to build proteins. These proteins are the cell's machinery carrying out all sorts of functions, from speeding up chemical reactions to building structures within the cell. The delivery system of the cell is the endoplasmic reticulum. This network of tubes transports proteins and other materials from one part of the cell to another. Much like a city's road network allows goods and people to move around. The waste management facilities of the cell are the lysosomes. These organelles break down waste materials and cellular debris, allowing the cell to recycle these components or get rid of them. And finally, the city hall of the cell is the nucleus. This organelle contains the cell's DNA, the instructions for everything the cell does. The nucleus controls all the activities of the cell, ensuring everything runs smoothly. So to summarize, cells are the basic units of life, microscopic cities that keep all living things functioning. Each cell has a variety of structures or organelles that perform specific tasks. The mitochondria generate energy, the ribosomes build proteins, the endoplasmic reticulum moves materials around the cell, the lysosomes break down waste, and the nucleus controls everything. Understanding cells and how they work is fundamental to understanding life itself. From the simplest organisms to the most complex, all life is made up of cells, each one a tiny self-contained unit of life. By studying cells, we can learn about the processes that keep us alive, the mechanisms of disease, and potentially how to cure or prevent those diseases. So the next time you look at a tree, a bird, or even your own hand, remember that you're looking at billions upon billions of cells, all working together to create the miracle of life. Cells are indeed the building blocks of life, the tiny units that make up all living things. They are the foundation of life as we know it and understanding them is key to understanding the world around us.